I work for Pivot Product Design based in Oslo, Norway. I've created a series of PDF and video tutorials for Space Claim. This is the first one in the series of video tutorials, which will hopefully get you up and running in the software. If you want to try Space Claim and you haven't got it, that's not a problem. You can log on to www.spaceclaim.no and request a free 30 day trial. There's also a PDF version of this tutorial which is a little bit more in depth that you might also like to try. Good luck. Firstly I'll show you how to navigate. If you hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse you'll rotate and if you hold the middle mouse button and control and pull towards you you zoom in and push away from you you'll zoom out and the middle mouse button and shift will pan. I'll quickly show you how to change the units in case you want to do this. So if you go to the top left and click on the space claim icon and then click on the space claim options. And then you might not have this automatically load but if you don't just click on units here. And then you can choose if you want it for this document or all new documents. I'm going to choose all new documents. And you can use, choose here what um, units you want to work in. So I'm just going to go metric and make sure it's in millimeters. And to save this, just simply click on OK. I'm now going to change the view to the top view because this is the way I want to sketch the caliper. So if you go to the Orient toolbox and to the top right, click on this arrow and click on top. And then the first thing we're going to do is to sketch a circle. So if we hover over the circle command, you'll notice you get a brief description. So to select this, just simply click on it. And now if we go to the origin and click once and pull out, if you press spacebar and now we'll enter in 34 and press enter. And now we're going to use something called Shift Touch. This allows us to draw an object, a desired X and Y from a point. So if you hover over the origin and press Shift and move to the left, if you press Spacebar and type in 33 and then hit Enter. And now press Spacebar, type in 10 and then hit Enter. I'm going to do this once more. So to the origin and press shift and for the X direction we're going to use 12 and then to switch to the Y direction press tab and then type in 25 and then enter and press spacebar type in 10 and hit enter now we're going to draw some lines to close this sketch. So if you go up to the sketch toolbox and click on line. And then if you go to this left circle here until you see this triangle appear and click once. And go to the right until it intercepts this circle and you get this square dot appear and click once. And do the same for this one here. This one. And finally this one. Now we're going to trim away the lines we don't want. So if you go to the sketch toolbox and to the right you'll notice this command here trim away. So we'll click on this and then whatever you hover over and it highlights green it will take away. So if we click this line here, this one, this one and finally this one. So now we have the 2D sketch we want we're going to make it 3D. So if you go up to the edit toolbox and click on pull, it's now made our 2D sketch into a surface. And if we click on this surface and drag upwards, you'll notice it starts to make it a solid. So if you press spacebar, we can now type in the dimension we want, which is 6, and then hit enter. Now we're going to make some new sketches on the top of our new solid. So to do this you go up to mode here and at the moment we're in 3D mode but we want to be in sketch mode so if we click sketch mode at the top and then you can hover over and it will show you what you'll be sketching on and it will hatch it so we'll choose this top surface and as I showed you earlier if we go to the orient toolbox click to the top right to this arrow and then click on top and then if you select circle, 
go to the origin click once and drag out and if you press spacebar and type in 30 and enter and then now we're going to do the same to make it a 3D so edit and then pull and then click on the surface pull the surface up press spacebar type in 6 and then enter and now we're going to do the same again but with another two circles so go to sketch mode select this surface here orient and then top and then we're going to go to this little plus sign here which um, locates the center of the circle click once drag out press spacebar type in 10 and enter and the same for up here so spacebar type in 10 and enter and then edit pull select the first surface and then to multiple select if you hold in control we can select the other surface then pull upwards and press spacebar type in 1 and hit enter I've showed you how to add material now I'm going to show you how to remove it you notice the two tops of the circles we've just pulled up are still hatched this means that when we click on sketch mode it will create the sketches on these and this is actually what we want to do so if you click on sketch mode and then change to the top view again then if you draw a circle in the center of here that is six millimeters and then the same for up here and then if you go to edit and pull select these two circles you've just drawn so click one hold control then click the other and then if you look in the pull options you have options to add material or to cut away material so we're gonna cut away material so click on it and then if you pull downwards you'll notice that it removes the material and then we're gonna use a distance of seven millimeters and enter we now have the finished shape so to finish it off we're just going to add some rounds and chamfers so to create a chamfer if you just make sure in edit you have pull selected and click this top edge here and it will highlight and then if we at the moment we have round selected but we'll select chamfer then if you click on the arrow and pull down it will start to create your chamfer so if we press spacebar and type in 1.5 and enter so that's how you create a chamfer or a round on one edge it works the same I'll now show you how to create some rounds using multi select so if you click this edge rotate it a little bit holding control and click this edge and this edge and make sure that round selected and then click on the arrow and start to pull outwards if you press spacebar type in 6 and hit enter so that's how you use multi select so now I'll show you something else which is quite nice is called a chain so if you just double click this edge here and then holding control double click this edge and then to add the other edges we want just keep holding control so click this one here this one this one, this one, this little one here, this one, and finally here. And then if you start to push inwards and then press spacebar and type in 0.5 and hit enter. Hopefully from this tutorial you've learned how to use some of the basic tools in Space Claim. If you have any questions regarding the tutorial or Space Claim, you can contact me on liam at pivot.no.